this is what a fat girl eats in a day hungover edition a cappuccino four some toast i'm in it i've been wanting to eat last night before i started drinking what a horrible mistake i felt like shit this morning the toast was grim to be honest i had toast custard cream and a big cup of tea with sugar in it don't normally have sugar but i thought oh, i bloody well i'm gonna do it this morning just get my blood sugars back up again you know what i mean i probably drank about six cups of tea for lunch i had kfc uh massive rank no chicken was mostly rank as well like it just weren't that nice the chips were decent and i love that dip and a couple of pieces of chicken but why do all these people hungover eat all this nasty food in the morning? The rest have to go in the bin. Tango again, just to get them blood sugar levels back up. What kind of fucking weirdo opens their crisps like this, please? Anyway, bag of cheese and crisps and then some chicken fingers for dinner. Make sure you're following me for more dolls. This hangover needs to grow. I don't think your hangover is going to get any better eating this type of food. I, I think you should have, you know, some electrolytes or something in the morning or electrolytes while you're drinking. But that's just me. Yeah, that's probably the healthiest thing all day. But another thing I've noticed, a lot of the foods are just all brown. Like, that's all they eat, like this beige fried food. I could never just eat one packet. is needed. You need loads of salt on a Chinese. Does the food not already come with enough salt? Like I know outside takeout foods already salty enough. How much salt do you need? I don't think this is going to help your hangover at all. This is going to be like a food coma the next day. Dogs tomorrow, so I hope I'm still not hungover. 
How much food do these people eat? I was waiting for that video to end. I don't know. Okay, so he started off with what McDonald's ate, ate what nuggets, fries, and then he had two triple cheeseburgers that he smashed together. Do you think these people actually eat this on a daily basis or is it only for these videos? Because then he has a milkshake. He had some other crazy food, some pasta with like a pound of cheese on it. At that point, might as well just eat cheese and mayo. I don't know what the point of the pasta is. Maybe to get some extra calories in. Then I mean, candy bar, drinks, Mars drinks. That's, I I don't know if this is just for the video or if this is how they eat every day, but I hope, I hope it's not often. You were like the dinner. What I eat in a day is a disgusting fat person who is very hungover after a birthday. So I did actually have some toast when I first woke up, but then I fell asleep and I had a Mackey's and then I had a few mouthfuls of this cake, but it wasn't as nice as I thought it was going to be. And then I had a handful of pretzels later on and then I slept for like five or six hours. <laughs> so then when I got back up, we ordered Domino's, I had some of the chicken nuggets and then about half of a vegan pizza. So while I'm here, I just want to say thank you for 2000 followers. And also to the lads, um, A, I'm not looking for your unwanted advice. Um, and I don't give a fuck if you think I'm disgusting. So, okay, bye. So I noticed she mentioned that she had a cake and it wasn't even that good. I guarantee you she just still slammed that whole piece of cake down. It, I don't, <clears throat> it, it's no way it's even enjoyable sometimes for these people to be eating this food. And I'm not one who's, like, anorexic or doesn't like to eat. I do, but like, there has to be a limit to it. Yes, I use three sugars. Whole tube of. Look at the state of us. You need both McDonald's and KFC on a hangover. Crazy you. Everything I ate for breakfast as a hungover big girl on a all-inclusive holiday. Disclaimer, if you don't like fat people eating swatch. Watermelon, 10 tenths. Orange, 8 tenths. Bacon on toast, 2 tenths. Mini sausages, 5 tenths. Cheese and ham tart, 10 tenths. Went back for seconds. Oh, wow. Croissant dipped in beans, 6 tenths. Beans were to runny. Mini pancakes in syrup, five tenths to end are cooked for me. Cinnamon dough balls and syrup, seven tenths, very sweet. The lightest, most heavenly cream cake I have ever eaten, one thousand tenths. I go back just for this cake. You must be thinking she's still going. Yes, fuming at the tiny spoon, what do I look like to you? Cereal to ten. <laughs> Fruit salad, seven tenths. Apple juice, ten tenths. So I'm not one to be against, you know, once in a while gorging or having enjoying yourself, especially if you're on a cruise or vacation, that's fine. But when you look like you do this on a daily basis outside of the cruise, then I think it's a problem to you're pretty much putting yourself in an environment which you know is going to be destructive for you. Like you're eating everything on the ship for however many days it is, and that probably wasn't even the full day of eating. It, it seemed like it was all in one time period. That was like one sitting. I wonder what the whole day looked like then.
At least this person ate an apple. That's more than I can say for the other people. But a common excuse I see for people not cooking is they don't have time. This person was laying around all day. I don't know why they can't be cooking rather than eating all this packaged grocery store food. Everything I ate as a hungover big girl at a Chinese buffet. Disclaimer, if you don't like fat people eating skull. Onion rings, 7 tenths. Spring rolls, 10 tenths. Fried squid to tenths, no flavor. Chow mein noodles, 9 tenths, so nice. Spicy noodles, 3 tenths way to spicy, nearly unalive. Fried chicken wings, 5 tenths. Pong seven tenths nice, but way too much work. I'm a lazy eater. The only way to eat sweet and sour chicken and special fried rice is on a prong cracker. Ten a ten. Be aware it is very messy, but worth it. I'm very full at this point. But my brain doesn't have a stop button with food. Chips six tenths. Fried fish zero tenths to oily. Cauliflower, seven tenths. Broccoli, one tenth. Why was it fighting me? Chicken curry and white rice minus a two thousand tenths. Worst thing is ever put in my mouth. That says a lot. Trying not to make a scene and vomit. Realizing I should have stopped eating ages ago. At least she realized that soon enough. Anyway. Mushrooms, nine tenths. Refreshing. Cucumber, eight tenths. Beef and brown rice. At this point, I was lost. She says she should have stopped eating a long time ago, but she continues to eat and stuff herself. I don't know when these people are going to realize that it's not just, oh, I can love my body, whatnot. Like, this is your health, your you're going to be living for a couple more decades. Your body's not going to feel as good when you're young. You can do what you want. When you get older, your body can't handle it. And you might actually be shortening that amount of time. Hopefully they learn one day. Thanks for watching.